I'm Trevor Marshall, Professor of Social Anthropology at SOAS. These are exciting times for SOAS. For the start of our second century, we're redeveloping the North Block of Senate House. For years, I've been working with builders in Yemen and Mali. The Masons that I worked with in West Africa weren't just taught how to skillfully lay bricks and prepare mortar. In fact, they were taught to recite benedictions. In the context of Yemen, the minaret builders that I worked with were being socialized within their Islamic context. And this was really important for them because they had to project themselves as pious individuals to their clients and to their public. They have taught me the value of manual skills, of making things by hand. And I've been exploring how manual skills are passed along, that transmission of knowledge. I've been able to look at social relations between craftspeople as well, and between craftspeople and their clients. From the outside, you might think that the development of Senate House is just another massive industrial process. But if you move in past the hoardings, you can see that it is being transformed by individuals working together. Whether they're using big machines or hand tools, and the end results will be the product of collective effort. One of the things that I learned firsthand on the building sites is that you won't always get the easy answer that you're looking for from your mentors or your instructors. Some of the best teachers I had were those who turned our questions back into another question, a kind of Socratic way of teaching and learning. And what it produced was individuals who could ultimately think for themselves. That's something I've tried to implement with my own students, both my undergraduate and my PhD students. I want them to own their questions and their pursuits of knowledge. I want them ultimately to own their projects. Senate House will have formal lecture theaters, breakout spaces, study areas, places where you can think, places where you can talk. So every one of our students, however they learn, will be able to make their discoveries and find their own answers.